this, this is my third time to attend ABC conference, and uh, that's a great honor for me to be here. And uh, the first of all, and uh, that is my topic, examining and the implementation of Domestic Violence Prevention Act in Taiwan from the perspective of feminism and bioethics. Where's my chair? Oh, you come on. <laughs> okay, so uh, the presenter is me and my wife, Angela. And uh, what I'm going to say is, uh, in Taiwan, there are three persons who work on the domestic violence prevention. Uh, and uh, Dr. Joe, Dr. Lo, and me. And we spend uh, many, many years to work on it. So that is my topic. And next, please. And that is the book is going to be pub published very soon. And uh, the title of uh, that is in Mandarin, but the title is Gender Violence. So um, I uh, this presentation is included uh, from the 18 articles in uh, to make some summary of this PPT. Thank you. And she is me. And uh, she in Mandarin is mean uh, thank you. And uh, in Indonesian is Dermakasi. So you can call me a doctor Dermakasi. Or <laughs> doctor, thank you. <laughs> uh, wow. The feminist has engaged the momentum of the feminist movement and emphasized women's self awareness and deconstructs the gender. Uh, dichotomized society and uh, female society, a social poli uh, political structure aiming to completely to eliminate the operation based gender relationship. In uh, Taiwan, just like uh, some other countries in this world, we are the patriarchy society, which means the men most the men dominate most of the social resources in in my society. So that is the that is the operation based gender relationships. Next please. Marriage is not only the legal con contract but a choice of lifestyle. That's the choice. Let me remind you, that's the choice of life. Lifestyle based on the intimate relationship in the, and independence between him, uh, husband and wife. And uh, now we are working on that uh, ma multi-family plan in Taiwan, which means the family is not consist of husband and wife only. Single person can be a family. For example, if I'm a single, I have two cats, and uh, one dog and a small apartment, can it be a home? In, in my society, home like there must be consisted of husband, wife, children. But if I don't want to have the children, just husband and wife, and people in Taiwan, they say, hey, you are not normal person, which I teach at the normal university. But you know, so many people will say, hey, if you don't marry, that's not normal family. So uh, that is what I'm saying is with the uh, feminist perspective to talk about the the, the prevention uh, domestic violence prevention act. Marriage relationship is image reflect the cultural characteristic and the values of specific society in a specific time period. The time is changing so fast. So the image of the family, image of the marriage is quite different, you know, uh, with my fam uh, my parents' generation. And of course, my our children's generation has a different perspective of the family and marriage too. Thank you. Patriarchy is the mainstream of the traditional society, the social and cultural structure in Taiwan. And See my hand. That is the 
population pyramid. So at the top of the 20% people, most of, most, of them, most of them are men, control most of the social, political, cultural resources in my society. But it's not fair. I mean, uh, I mean, 20% uh, of the people of the population who control most of the resources. And the essence, uh, essence and the value of the marriage in Taiwan has never been established on e equality. Uh, rather, the power difference between the men and women is clearly shown in the existing uh, marriage system. In the patriar patriarchic society, you can see men always think they are superior to women. But I don't agree with that. Because men and women must live in this world equally. Equally. We need to share the resources. We need to share everything. But in patriarchic society, men always think they are superior to women. Thank you. She, me again. <laughs> that only by deconstructing gender oppression and violence, reconstruction, reconstructing gender relationship, protecting individual human rights. That's why I put a uh, bioethic perspective on this topic because we need the equal human rights and uh, pers pursuing social justice and the fair distribution of the resources can be the gender relations based on all forms of the operation and dominance and uh, and uh, the vision of gender equity can be realized and I would like to say the the gender equity. I mean, Taiwan has the first female president. We are so happy about that because not because of the he or she's gender, but because of he or her ability, brand, everything you know. But the gender could be one of the factor. But we are so happy. We have the 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 first person. And the other thing I want to share with you, I mean, 38% uh, uh, of the councilmen in our country are female. And that is the higher than USA. USA's councilmen only have the 20% of female, and in Taiwan, 38%. So we are so proud of it. But as I say, gender is just one small factor. We not only believe the gender can solve everything, but we think the equal opportunity can let the people live in a harmony society. Thank you. Taiwan is the first Asian country in preventing the Domestic Violence Prevention Act. Marital violence has existed for a long time. And as I say, there are three people who work on the, this issues for many years in Taiwan, Dr. Zhou, Dr. Luo, and if, I, if you have something to, 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 to talk with me or to, to reinforce me, please just raise your hand anytime, okay? And uh, however, because of the unequal expectation of the gender role and the traditional idea of the family uh, in the greeting, let me give you one example. In our, uh, at our uh, junior high school textbook, they always say, he is a doctor, she is a nurse. That's the gender bias. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I want to tell you, the history, this world, is his story, not her story. What mean is that history or History was made by all of the all of the people, no matter you are men or women. And why history is his story, not her story. So one of my students, uh, he organized, uh, you know, the 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 NGO non-government organization. That's the name is her story. I like that because not men make the history, but also. Women can make the history. Next, please. 
This problem has not deeply understood until early 1970s, when marital violence eventually attracted people's attention due to the increasing of the child, child spouse abuse and the great efforts of a feminist activities. And I would like to say proudly, I'm a feminist. I'm the founder of the gender studies in Taiwan. And, and I think it's about 10 or 15 years ago, whenever I stood up and they say I'm a feminist, a feminist, people laugh at me. You are a man, why you are the feminist? I say I'm a feminist because my brain, not my pants. <laughs> See, that's the plan. And, and I, I don't say any woman can be a feminist. That's the same thing. No matter you are a man or you are a woman, but you have the feminist brand, you are a feminist. Okay. Thank you. Mental violence is a common form of domestic violence. Cases of wife being baited by her husband have for a long time existed in the society. I'm not talking about the Taiwan society, but some other country in this world. And uh, particularly in social system with a patriarchal structure, which reinforce people's ignores of medical violence with the repaid change of rapid change of the social uh, family, family patterns. Domestic and marriage violence and gender violence has uh, currently became, become a serious problem that people worldwide pay attention. Please attention to this. Worldwide pay attention. UNESCO, WHO, you, uh, UNICEF, and the other one is CSW at the United Nations. They announced domestic violence or marital violence is the very serious worldwide issues. That's very important. And not our country, as uh, the first two uh, paper was presented about a disaster, about air pollution. I think that is not the single issue of Korea or the single issue of Taiwan. As I say, since we are the citizen of the Pacific Ocean, the, the, the Pacific Rim Ocean, we need to join our hands together to face it, to solve our problem. So that is the marital violence or domestic violence is not only one single country's issues. It's the world, worldwide issues. Thank you. According to the statistical risk uh, released by National Police Agency of the Ministry of Interior, Table 1, Table 1, I'm going to show you later, the number of the domestic violence uh, cases being reported in the number of application of the protection orders throughout the country from 2003 to last year increased year by year. Please, attention, cre increased year by year. So that's why I'm, see I'm saying this is the serious problem and we need to get attention for not our country, but it, it is the worldwide issues, please. Thank you. According to the statistic released by National Police Agency of the Ministry of the number of the domestic violence cases being reported and the number of the Britons is the redundant. Okay. Next one, please. So that is is it's not easy to read, but I I tell you just just pay attention to this. The cases of domestic violence accepted by by our government agency. 2003 is about the one uh, a seventy thousand sum uh, in 2003, but in 2015 increased to 
50, 57 dollars. So this issues is getting serious, and we also the number get the public attention, and so we need to face it. We need to try to think about something to prevent it, to solve it, and even to heal it. Because we need to heal the 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 baby women and, and and children and even the family members, not only uh, 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 the victims of wife only, priest. Marital violence drives from the patriarchal ideas of the male superior to the women or vocation of motherhood. Motherhood is the great things in the world. They cannot be blamed with any excuses. So uh, men's power in patriarchal system is maintained through the control and dominance. Therefore, in the majority of the marital violence cases, body is the fear of the violence demonstration. I don't agree with that, but most of the men doing like that. But as I say, men to be the offender is not fair. Because in Taiwan, we have another statistic. 25% of the offenders are female. So we need to know how to prevent men and women cannot be the offender. And men and women cannot be the victim of domestic violence. OK, thank you. So domestic violence is believed not only the clients own problem or individual people and their family problem, but a social problem. Let me repeat one more time. That's not individual problem. That's not one single family problem. It is the social problem. So we need to integrate all of the social re resources to help the people to help the family to solve this problem. And as I say before, that is not only the one single nation's social problem. That is the worldwide problem. Let me tell one uh, single story I heard from a friend who came from Africa. She wanted to attend one of her best friend's wedding party. And, uh, from her home to the bride, the home, it take about three days. So back and forth, it take about a week. Do you know what? When he, when she went to the party and come back to the home, she was raped five times. She knew that that's dangerous to walk through the the dangerous places. But she wanted to go, and she knew it was going to happen to her. But, but let me tell you what, nobody, nobody can suffer this kind of violence. Nobody can suffer that. That's this the one story uh, which was told by my classmate in the United States when I work on my doctorate degree there. And that is very, very sad and a very bad story about that. So, uh, as I say, that is the social problem. In the domestic violence cases, not only abused women shall be taken care of them. Children who witness of the violence, other family members, such as the elderly people. Uh, the abuser also need the adequate social services. Uh, Taiwan was the first country to have domestic violence act, but in the first 10 years, we always say abuser is a crime. So we punish them with the legal system, but the problem cannot be solved. Probably, probably the offender need help, need help. So I think we work on that offender sometime and, but not most of the time. Well, most of the time, we work with the, the, the victims. But as I told you, as I told you, 
of the need to help and the social problem can just can be solved. Otherwise, just like the recycling system, men always get into the recycle system of the domestic violence. Therefore, in the disciplinary integration in the protection system is crucial, just like that. I think two of the my best friends, they are psych psychiatrists. We need to work with the psychiatrists who can help the offenders who have the just like a drug abuse problem, alcoholic problem, we need to work with the psychiatrist. We also need to work with the social worker to provide appropriate appropriate uh, social welfare to the, the, the victims. We need to work with the legal system. We need to work with the clinical psychologist. And that is the integration. In the, dis in the disciplinary integration program to protect uh, to protect system is very very important. Thank you. Thank you very much. You, that's it. Oh no. <laughs> Twenty one minutes. So you have three and a half minutes left. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Go, please. So, gender politics in marital and domestic violence is very important. The imbalance of gender power is profoundly influenced the essence of the marital and domestic violence. So, we need to have the gender politics. Moreover, gender awareness of the personal is agency of the social services, health, education, police, and justice, as I say. So we need to have the interdisciplinary integration to work together. Thank you. And uh, prevention, ed education, and in-service empowerment centering on gender sensitivity. Uh, when uh, Dr. Zhou uh, presented a paper about the disaster in Taiwan, the first time I came to ABCs, it, uh, that was in Japan two or three years ago. And I present the gender sensitivity and the cultural sensitivity for the disaster. Which means, since we are the professional person, we need to have the gender sensitivity or cultural sensitivity to serve the people we have to serve. Thank you. And, okay, that's the CEDO. That's a CEDAW. It's in 1979, United Nations General Assembly passed CEDAW, which regarded an international bill for rights of the women attempting to eliminate gender blindness. So we just follow that. We just follow the spirit of the CEDAW to work on that. Thank you. Thank you. When I say Thank you, it's mean the next one. <laughs> next one, please. Abuse to women in disadvantaged minority. And Angel and I work on, uh, I, I think more than 10 years on that uh, specific minority, for example, international immigration, to marry to Taiwan. And most of them come from a Southeast country. So in Taiwan, we have about a half million of the bright who came who came from the southeast countries and in Taiwan they suffer the domestic violence so we help them and the other one of regional Taiwanese disabled elderly and that is the very special issues we work on them next one please and uh, this that's what I say and translation of marriage in in Taiwan. The next one. I have the full paper, so I'm going to give the the Daryl and probably they can publish in their journal. So you, you can have the one. Next please. Okay. That's the same one, disadvantaged minority group. Uh, such as I I mentioned about original women and other 
you know, uh, translation uh, marriages. Thank you. Gender bias intervention from the perspective of cultural diversity. And uh, I don't know how many people have ever been to Taiwan, but I told some of the people when they come to Taiwan, I say, hey, don't just stay in Taipei. Taipei is just part of Taiwan. Yeah. Taipei is not Taiwan. It's just part of it. You can go to Kaohsiung. That's where we came from. That's a beautiful harbor city. And you can go to the east. It's beautiful. That's why Spanish came to Taiwan in 60 centuries. They say, oh, that's a beautiful island in Spanish for Mosa. Taiwan is a beautiful country, beautiful nations. So if you come, please don't stay in, just stay in Taipei. Because Taiwan is the diverse cultural society. We have it all kind, different kinds of the food. We even have a different dialogue of the languages. So please come to, to there and, and enjoy with us. Last, last summer, we came to Bandung in, in Indonesia. The mayor of the Bandung made the speech during the open ceremony. He asked us a question. In Indonesians, the race is more than 1,000. Language is almost, uh, is uh, uh, 1,030 some languages. How you call anyone, he or she is the Indonesian. How you call them? Because we have the different races, we have the different language. How can present himself or themselves as the Indonesian? And he cited the father of the Indonesian. He said, if you identify yourself as the citizen or the, you know, the people of Indonesia, you are the Indonesian, no matter who you are, no, no matter what kind of language you speak, no matter what kind of skin you have, no matter what kind of the religious you have, you are the Indonesian. If you, are, if you identify yourself as the Indonesian, I love this. In Taiwan, we have the diverse culture. So please, come to Taiwan. Don't just stay in Taipei, because Taiwan is a very diverse country and beautiful island. Next one, please. Establish the McCain, the McCain of gender violence intervention and the plan research design for the perspective of bioethic and the families. That is my point. Since this conference is ABC, Asian Bioethic Conference, so I need put the bioethic conference. I think some of my friends and colleagues from the Kaohsiung, even they work in the hospital or at university, we work so hard for the the, the, the research at, uh, ethic problem. So I think my, my presentation is based on the bioethic and the other one is the feminist, feminism. As I told you, I'm the male feminist. So that's my perspective. Next one, please. So establish, okay. Uh, okay, the next, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the, start, the study on gender violence should complete with the principle of bioethics. That is the research should be designed and conducted according to the principle of respect of the person. Benefits do no harm concern of for welfare and justice on the basis of autonomy. Thank you. <laughs> let me let me conclude in thirty minutes. Okay. So, yes. So thank you for your cooperation and uh, good good listener to my lecture. Thank you very much and, and please join me to for the good discussion. Okay. I don't want to just come here to present my paper. I want to hear from you and and talk about these issues and try to find out how we we can work together in the near future and solve the problem. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Okay, does uh, anyone have a question or two?
Chris. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, let me know who you are, Chris. Yeah. My name is uh, Rebecca. I'm from Indonesia. I live in the north part of the Java Island, around 120 kilometers from Yogyakarta. Our, in our institutions also deal with the... Uh, thank you. Thank you. Our institutions also deal with the... Uh, Several cases of domestic violence. We are, we are forensic medicines. Yeah. So some some of the victims, uh, commonly, uh, especially women, their wife, come to our institution to request for the report uh, because of they already suffer from uh, uh, violence. But. Uh, from us, from the cases that we deal with, the wife usually came after several finals. They will rarely came at the first time. Because when we ask why the reasons, they are trying, tend, to, uh, tend to resist the, the marriage, mm -hmm. uh, uh, responsible, responsibility to the children. They, they, so they will come to our institutions after three or five times of violence okay. after we done. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 kind of a, a, a patri patriarchy system mm -hmm. that yeah. still exists until now. Mm -hmm. like, like you said before, mm -hmm. previous, uh, then uh, what kind of the other reasons we 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 have several kids diverse from early marriage and also after 10 years marriage so the the factor is quite uh, diverse yeah and then uh, we talk maybe if there is there are uh, pre-marital consultations to prepare both the male and the female uh, before marriage about the challenge in the marriage uh, life so it will reduce the number of the violent, domestic violence especially in marriage violence so I don't know is, is there any uh, action uh, prevention in that uh, sector in Taiwan? Thank you very much. Well that is a good question I mean uh, some of the countries some of the people need to know that and uh, as I told you uh, Taiwan go through the long way now we have the Domestic Violence Prevention Act, but it cannot solve all of the problem. The, the first thing is we need to have the act, first legal system, because, as I mentioned just because of that act, we have the inter, uh, interdis, interdisciplinary integration, you know, the, the model, we can get the, the, the legal system, we can get the, the social welfare system, all kinds of that together, work on together to solve offenders, victims, problem. That's the first thing. Second thing is because of the legal system, so we have statistics, so we can get attention from the public. So we let the people know, hey, how serious it is. And we can, we want to solve this. So. As, that's why I use the feminist perspective because the women's right, women need to fight for it. Not only women only, men can join them, but you know, women's perspective will focus on the seriousness of these issues. But uh, you know, I know that's the own the own the wrong way. Uh, the, the long way. If we don't we don't have the first state, we cannot solve it. So if we have the first step, we can have the second step gradually. How and go through like that? Spend so many years to do that, but we still cannot solve all the problem. The problem. I I pass my my microphone to Dr. Chu, and and he has something to add for me. Yes. Thank you, Professor Sister, and comprehensive the answer. <laughs> In introductory. I, I, I think uh, it's sorry, not the sorry. Uh, met the actor, domestic prevention actor, and uh, to uh, uh, advocate everybody to know this uh, issue. 
I think uh, one of the most uh, important thing is education. Because uh, 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 100 years ago, or half, uh, or 50 years ago, uh, Taiwan is also not equality between the men and the uh, women. But after education, we can uh, set up the, and the equality the, between the men and the women. So, this is that the, uh, the professor says uh, introduction and uh, discrimination. I think uh, education is an other uh, important thing. How to uh, educate our cho children to uh, esteem the male and the female, they are equal equality. Well, Dr. Chu is talking about uh, education to the public, but I will tell you, maybe you can talk with Dr. Angela Law after the presentation because she worked on that original victims for longer than 10 years. They used the conscious racing group to help the people to identify, to construct their self-esteem to face their life in the future. I think education is for the public, but for the victims or the children or even to the offender, we need another way to do that. So probably you can talk with her yeah, really. later. Like, yeah. like in my opinion, uh, in the wait, in wait, wait. Well, oh, we can talk about that later. Right. Right. So, yeah. so many people raise hands. Could I, could I pass? Yes. yes. <laughs> He's a chair, so I don't know. You're now the chair. Thank you, thank you yes. for your nice presentation on domestic violence. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, I, I have um, uh, information that uh, the, in India, you know, the, you, you, you explain the, uh, in, uh, most of the cases uh, that women are faced the domestic violence and uh, one area that is uh, the uh, in Taiwan that is 25% uh, of offender and female but you know I have uh, information that uh, the 80% uh, male are face uh, uh, domestic violence in India which is the largest domestic violence male domestic violence uh, 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 male facing the domestic violence in India can you compare or say the, what is the actually uh, psychosocial? Uh, uh, can you explain these things in, uh, in perspective of psychosocial uh, uh, situation? So uh, I mentioned about the ecosystem is very important, but that's not the only way to solve the problem. We need to sum up into. Uh, in the different models, but uh, different countries have a different situation. So that's why my opinion is. Let me give the example. They are the social workers. And I came into the women center or domestic violence prevention center. I said I need help because I was abused. Can you believe that? I'm the, vic I'm the victim. I, I was baited. Men, you don't you don't believe that because Taiwan is patriarchy society. They don't believe men can be yeah. So, but but what I'm saying is just like Dr. Chu said, education is very important. We need to let people know body is my own. Nobody can offend me. Okay. So if we cut the clear cut. The line is here. If I cross the line, I'm the offender. You are the victim. If you cross the line, I'm the victim. So we need that clear cut. So as I mentioned, we need some more researchers. We need some more researchers to have the 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 how to call that uh, evidence basis statistic to persuade the public. To persuade policymakers to persuade the practitioner to work with us. But as I say, in India, in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Taiwan, we have a different si situation. But the brain is the same. We need to have the equal rights, no matter who you are.
men, women, uh, young people, elder people, no matter who you are, we need to have the equal opportunities. Okay. Maybe I cannot answer the question in a short time, but you know, uh, we can talk about that. We always say that in Taiwan, we always say that turn off the microphone. Discussion is just start. Okay. Thank you very much. Last question. Oh, yes. <laughs> but but very very great you you raised this question. Okay. We can talk about. It. Let me know who you are. Uh, so I am. Uh, Please stand up. Stand up, please. Yeah. Stand up. He's he's famous to be from India. Uh, thanks for your uh, uh, presentation. So I have a small observation uh, on your observation about uh, history. Actually, history does not uh, mean his story, I think so. Uh, history is, I think, a Greek word, historian, which means to uh, investigation or uh, gain knowledge after investigation. So I think uh, etymologically, history is not his story. Thank you. As I say, we need to have some more research in diverse areas. For example, let me give you one example. In Taiwan, the feminist group exam our uh, school's textbook. They found that 90% of the authors are men. In this side of the example are men, in 98%, only 2% are women. As I say, we need equal, we need, uh, you know, uh, really human rights history. I, I, maybe I didn't answer your question, but as I say, I told her, I told him, we need to live in this world and share all of the resources and the human rights. That's why I, I, uh, I present this the paper with my ethic perspective. Okay. Thank you. I know uh, that 